Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for you.com. Today we have an interesting question. How many possible gamete combinations are there for an organism with diploid number of 8? We'll be using a simple formula to answer these type of questions. Question number 1. How many possible gamete combinations are there for an organism with diploid number of 4? So the simple formula is possible number of gametes is equal to 2 raised to n where n is the haploid number. In this case the diploid number is 4 therefore the haploid number is 2. The answer is 2 raised to 2 that is 2 into 2 4 possible gamete combinations. Let us understand the concept better. So suppose this is a cell with the diploid chromosome number 4 1 2 3 4 there are two homologous pairs, chromosome number 1 homologous pair, chromosome number 2 homologous pair. So there are two possible combinations for these chromosomes to align during metaphase 1. So this is the first combination, this blue long chromosome of chromosome pair 1 and this short blue chromosome of chromosome pair 2 aligning in a line. So the second possibility is aligning diagonally. So there are two possibilities. At beta phase 2, the orientation will be like this. So this is separated during anaphase 1, which is called as independent assortment. So this is separated. So the homologous chromosomes are now here. Here also there is a long blue chromosome of chromosome 1 homologous pair and the short blue chromosome of chromosome 2 homologous pair. Here also the long red chromosome of chromosome 1 homologous pair and the short red chromosome of chromosome 2 homologous pair. Here also there are two combinations this blue one with the short red one of second chromosome homologous pair and the long red one with the short blue one of second chromosome homologous pair. So after metaphase 2 in metaphase 1 during anaphase homologous chromosomes are separated Whereas at metaphase 2, sister chromatids are separated. So in gametes, we will be having as sister chromatids are separated. As you can see, there will be a long chromosome of chromosome number 1 and short chromosome blue colored of chromosome number 2. The same combination. Here there is a long chromosome of chromosome homologous chromosome pair 1 in red color and the short one in red color. So in this case there will be a long blue colored chromosome of chromosome homologous chromosome pair 1 and the short red colored of chromosome number 2. Here the reverse that is the long red colored chromosome of chromosome number 1 and the short blue colored of chromosome number homologous so there are four possible combinations. The equation 2 raised to 2, 2 into 2, 4. If the diploid number is 4, there are four possible combinations. 1, 2, 3 and 4. How many possible combinations of chromosomes are there for human gametes? In the case of humans, we, as we know that the diploid number is 46, therefore haploid number is 23. Therefore, 2 raised to 23, that is approximately 8 million gametic combinations. And that is responsible for this amazing diversity between different individuals of the same species. And the final question, how many chromosomal combinations can result from meiosis when the diploid number is 16? Diploid number is 16, therefore haploid number is 8. As per the equation, 2 raised to 8, that is 256 different combinations of gametes. Thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com. Please subscribe, share and like this video.